The Battle of Manzikert, which occurred on August 19, 1071, was a significant conflict between the Byzantine Empire and the Seljuk Ottomans near Lake Van in eastern Anatolia, modern-day eastern Turkey. The Seljuk Sultan Alp Arslan led the Ottoman forces, while the Byzantine Emperor Romanos IV Diogenes commanded the Byzantine troops. At the time, the Seljuk Ottomans, under the leadership of Tugrul Beg, had expanded their power into Christian Armenia, a dissident Byzantine border province. Turkish forces had started to penetrate central Anatolia and even reached the eastern Aegean Sea, posing a threat to the Byzantine Empire. The Byzantine Empire was already facing challenges on various fronts, with the Normans threatening its control of southern Italy and possessions in the Balkans also under attack. Additionally, internal feuds among noble families and rebellions further weakened the Byzantine Empire's defenses. Emperor Constantine X Ducas passed away in 1067, and the aristocracy urged his widow, Eudokia Makrembolitissa, to marry General Romanos and become the new emperor. Romanos IV Diogenes became the Byzantine emperor and embarked on campaigns to repel the Seljuk forces led by Alp Arslan. In 1068-1069, Romanos successfully pushed Alp Arslan back into Armenia and Mesopotamia. He also defeated the Ottomans in the Battle of Heraclea in 1069 and regained control of Armenia, except for a few Seljuk fortresses. However, in 1070, Romanos shifted his focus to Italy where he had some success against the Normans but was compelled to withdraw due to a renewed Turkish threat in eastern Anatolia. This Turkish threat consisted of two Turkish armies led by Alp Arslan and his brother-in-law Arizia. Alp managed to take the Byzantine fortress city of Manzikert but faced defeat at Edessa. Meanwhile, Ariziagi defeated the main Byzantine force near Sebastia. In the spring of 1071, Romanos marched eastward to confront the Seljuks. Estimates of the size of his army vary from 35,000 to 50,000 men, with a diverse composition of troops, including elite units like the Varangian Guard, pressed Armenian and Syrian forces, and various mercenaries such as Frankish, German, Norman heavy cavalry, and Turkish light cavalry. Upon arriving in eastern Anatolia, Romanos, the Byzantine emperor, sent a detachment led by General Basilatius to the area near Atlat, held by the Seljuk Ottomans, to serve as a screen for his main force and ravage the region. After capturing the city of Manzikert, Romanos moved to besiege Atlat, while Basilatius was sent to Khoi, where the Seljuk leader, Alp Arslan, was assembling a large army. In late July or early August, Alp Arslan's much larger army, consisting of around 50,000 men, overwhelmed Basilatius's smaller force of 10,000 to 15,000 men. Basilatius, for unclear reasons, withdrew his men to the southeast without informing Romanos. This act of treachery may have involved Basilatius, Romanos's second in command, Andronicus Ducas, and Empress Eudokia. As a result of the unexpected attack, Romanos's forces were caught off guard. The Ottomans were mostly mounted and consisted of skilled horse archers. Romanos's heavy cavalry, known as cataphracts, with their combination of missile and shock tactics, would have been formidable if properly prepared. However, Romanos's forces were disorganized, and his mercenary light cavalry abandoned him, reducing his army to fewer than 35,000 men. On August 19, 1071, Romanos formed his remaining men into two lines, with himself leading the first line and Andronicus commanding the second line. As the Ottomans were forming for battle, Alp Arslan sent a messenger, possibly as a ruse to gain time. Romanos demanded a full Turkish withdrawal from Byzantine territory. The battle commenced with Turkish arrow attacks, which Romanos's archers and heavy cavalry managed to counter effectively. By late afternoon, Romanos had pushed the Ottomans back far enough to take their camp. However, as dusk fell and with his camp lightly guarded and seven miles away, Romanos chose to withdraw. The Ottoman forces harassed the Byzantine withdrawal, and confusion grew in Romanos's army. He ordered a counterattack with his first line, but Andronicus disregarded the command and continued the withdrawal, leaving Romanos abandoned. The Ottomans easily enveloped Romanos's line, and he was either killed or taken as a prisoner, later to be released in exchange for tribute and the dismantling of some Byzantine fortresses. The Battle of Manzikert had profound consequences for the Byzantine Empire. Romanos's enemies in Constantinople took advantage of his defeat, seizing power and blinding him. Although Romanos tried to reclaim his throne, he ultimately died as a result of his captivity. The Byzantine Empire fell into a series of civil wars and rebellions, leading to the Ottomans ravaging Anatolia and the eventual call for the First Crusade in 1095. Additionally, the battle marked the expansion of Muslim power into Eastern Europe. Anatolia never fully recovered from the devastating effects of the Battle of Manzikert.